What's up guys, it's Ryan here, bringing you Clash Royale gameplay, let's go ahead and uh, use this deck right here and see what it does, at 2200-ish, actually first, we're going to open the free chest, see what comes out, so we got some gold, we got two gems, four barbarians, and five cannons, um, silver chest, we got 57 gold, one valkyrie, and uh, eight minion hordes, open this free chest, uh, 71 gold, one barbarian hut, and eight zap. Let's go ahead and start that one. All right, so let's go ahead and into the battle and see what we can do. All right, so this is a level nine, which I am a level nine too. So let's go ahead and see what this does. Uh, see how this goes, and let's see if we can beat him. All right, so I'm going to put down my barbarians right there. He's going to actually use a poison spell as soon as I drop my barbarians, which is going to do a lot of damage to my barbarians. Won't kill them, but He's definitely going to have to, um, I'm definitely going to have to be pushing out some troops after this and just waiting to see what he does. Um, he drops his skeleton and he does have a, a, um, troop that just went down. Alright, so we're going to wait and see what he does. I do have a few hit points off his tower. He has a few hit points off my right tower. Not too much. And let's move on and see what goes. See what's going. Sees. See what goes down. All right. So he does have a royal giant, which I'm going to use my cannon to get rid of that. And hopefully, I'm able to actually get rid of it with my barbarians. Probably not. I'm going to use the zap spell. All right. There we go. So he does have his royal giant going towards my cannon. Uh, he drops his skeletons, which distracts my skeleton. My um, go spear goblins, but I'm able to get rid of the royal giant, and I'm able to get on to the tower. All right, so I'm going to put my barbarians closer to the t closer to his side, and follow up with my musketeer, which he's going to use a poison spell once again, and that poison spell is messing up my troops, slowing down my troops, and I'm not able to push into his side very easily at all. So he has my right tower down to 1,500 hit points. He does have two elixir collectors, so he's pushing out more elixir. Um, so that's unfortunate for me. He's going to drop his royal giant once again. And I'm going to actually use zap on that side. And um, so I actually, we're about even on the hit points on the sides. And I'm going to use, oh, he does have a three musketeer. So I'm going to have to use my fireball on them. And get rid of those guys. Hopefully, hopefully, oh, did not take them all down. So I do have a zap, and that takes them down. He does have a second royal giant, which is going to do lots of damage on my tower. And um, pretty much, I'm going to just wait and see what he does. Um, going to use my cannon, no, my hog rider on the left side, and see what we can do. Um, Gonna use barbarians on the left side, and it does not look like I'm going to be able to get the win. Unfortunately, it was a close battle. He did have a double royal giant, and uh, yeah. So this battle did not go too great. I did have 648 hit points before we tied. He did have elixir collectors, so that was more him gaining over that. But we lost about 35 trophies, was it? But let's go ahead and battle again and see what we can do this next battle. Alright, so we are facing a level 8, and hopefully we can redeem ourselves with this battle. He's already crying, so since I'm a level 9 and he's a level 8, hopefully he does not have any fireballs. I don't care about arrows, they don't do very much. He does have a Lava Hound. Lava Hounds do gr horrible. Um, or They do pretty good against my deck because I don't have very much like to go for it. But um, that Musketeer is going for it, and so I got a few hit points on the right tower. I'm going to have to use my Barbarians. Yep, I'm going to have to use my Barbarians for that Musketeer because it does a lot of damage. Um, the Lava Hound does not do very much damage until the Lava Pups come out, so I'm not really worried about those. And we got a lonely little Lava Pup hitting that. Um, the lava pups are actually following barbarians, and hopefully my tower is able to actually take them down. 
and it looks like they do have a lot more hit points than minions or they have the same amount of hit points than minions just memorizing how much uh, hits it takes before the minions go down but um, so the hog rider gets to my get to, gets to his tower my musketeer is destroying that other musketeer and they are going for the tower it looks like yep I'm going to be able to get the tower so overall I am doing great I am up and I'm going to destroy his elixir collector right there. I'm going to get a few hit points off that king's tower. Um, so he does drop his uh, lava hound once again. I'm going to put a cannon down. Although he kind of ignored the cannon last time. I'm going to drop my hog rider because the... Um, okay. So the ho minions are following the hog rider. Which is going to kill him very very soon gonna use a fireball on those minions right there and push down the right side and see what we can do um I want to see if I can get the three crown uh get rid of the hog or the yeah hog rider those are annoying so I do have half the tower taken down I'm gonna actually try to keep pushing down the right side because it does have more hit points than the left side or less hit points in the left side can or tower. So the zap, and I'm gonna actually zap, be able to zap all those troops right there. I'm gonna use my musketeer and my spear goblins to get rid of those troops right there. Um, he does put elixir collector down, which makes it hard for me to go straight to the tower. I'm gonna use barbarians and hog rider. Probably should have put the hog rider or barbarians first, but did not do that. So we are tied right now. I'm going to actually put in a second musketeer on the right side and my goblins. He's going to let his troops get through and I did get the three crown. So he draws a good game. I drop an oops. I like to drop an oops when I win. So overall did not gain any trophies, but I did get a grant crown chest. Let's go ahead and open that. 446 gold, two gems, uh, four skeletons, six cannons six valkyries and uh 42 zap which is the zap i can actually use probably i'm getting close to upgrading the cannon zap and uh these two troops right here actually these th the goblins too uh well halfway through that but yeah if you like the video make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe for more until next time peace